one. I thought I needed a microphone, but I really don't, so <laughs> this is much better. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, I'm super excited to present my work today, and I have a great group of people with me. We have Ravi on the sax, we have Marsh on the violin, Yuba on the Cora, Schweib as a dancer, and Mufra. I'm like, my nicknames don't work here. <laughs> Marussia, Emily, and myself. And before we start, I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight um, about the project and about myself. So I'm originally from Munich, Germany. I was born there and I grew up there. And my dad is from Senegal, Africa. So growing up in Germany, I very quickly became super interested in dancing. And meanwhile, I had my dad play the kora, this instrument, which is a West African string instrument with 21 strings, very, very popular in Senegal. He played it every night. I knew all the songs. I danced it, but I wasn't interested in it. I thought, oh, that's the African side. I'm going to concentrate on my dancing. But the older I got, um, I got curious. And I wanted to learn more about my history, about the traditions, about the culture. And um, this year I was awarded the Toulmin Fellowship, which allowed me to create my own work here in New York City. And so what you're going to see is kind of based on what I started creating then. And it was a perfect opportunity to really dive into my history. And I collaborated with Yuba on the Cora. And you know, there is if you go to Senegal and you say, my last name is Sisoko they automatically know exactly who I am. They're like, oh, you are part of the griot family. Griot translated means storyteller. So my family has this huge um, storyline of storytellers. So they're all storytellers. And it's like such a wonderful, like, I feel like I came around, I grew into my name by being an artist and a dancer. I feel like I'm also storytelling through my body, through my art, even though I'm not necessarily playing the instrument like you are. But digging into that storytelling idea, I learned that way back my ancestors played the Korra for the kings. So they were in charge on passing on the stories, keeping the tradition alive, and passing on the culture. So it was actually very important for them to be there. If one of them passed away, it was like a whole library burned down. So Yuba Sisoko is actually the 22nd generation of storytellers in my family. And I'm so, so excited, so proud and grateful to have him here with me. Um, he moved here from Senegal a few months ago, so it just lined up perfectly. So in the work, you will see all the different ways of exploring storytelling. It doesn't have to be so strict of him playing the chorus, or him speaking or singing, but it can be expressed in so many ways. As I said, me through my dancing, I feel like I'm storytelling, there's poetry. So you just kind of go on a journey with us and experience storytelling. Don't worry, you don't need to understand one certain story. I hope that everybody actually has a different experience and a different understanding on what is being said. I think that is very beautiful in our art form. So without further ado, let's start and please enjoy. Fate. Fate. Fate collides and intersects our will, pressing upon us its own design of destiny, of destiny. Formulas we can't conceive of intertwine, intertwine with our own visions. A web, a web of colors spinning, spinning, weaving, weaving through our undiscovered selves, capturing our true essence, capturing our true essence, bringing it to the surface like waves, like waves crashing again and again. 
and again upon our hearts, creating the vision of what we cannot see but can only sense and touch through memory. Love lights the way, love, love lights the way, lights, lights filter through, filter through the dark canvas, creating space and hope, space and hope, and hope, and hope. Thank you. 
dream. I was born behind a broken scrum, one that couldn't rise or open, stuck on a stage, unable to touch the world. freedom to get down from this platform and join the group. I wanted my mother to look at me, see how blood had thickened in my veins. I wanted my father to kneel down, not view me from the top of my head. I wanted to dance alone in the spotlight, feel the emotions stream out of my heart, my gut pulsating with air that expressed with breathtaking clarity who I really am. Vulnerable, sentimental. I want to be seen while I am still breathing. Ask the stagehands to fix the damn scrim. Yank it up to the heavens where I have been dreaming. Step forward, downstage, ready. They yawn and crackle a 
its arms reach for sleep at the other end before heading upward.
Yeah. 